Well, hello there. I suppose you dropped by to watch exam five. We're halfway through our course now, and seven students have been sent packing. We're down to just five. Let's go and see what Room 101 throws at them today. Well, good morning, students. Today, we are going to do a little chemistry practical exam. And as you can see over here, in this burette drip is what is known as a titrate. It's a liquid that we will then drip into our conical flask. This beautiful, luscious purple color. This is your starting point, and we're going to keep on adding liquid and work our way through the colors. What you want to end up with is this green color. If you end up there, you've pretty much gone too far. I have to say, it's a little too easy. So we brought in a very special chair. Well, you'll be sitting on this chair while you do your chemistry examination. When I saw the chair, I thought, oh shit. What I was worried about was the amount of jiggling that will happen in the show. Now, should you actually go too far and miss the right end point, we will stop the test and redo it. So without further ado, we shall begin. So put these gloves on. Kinky. My strategy was basically to take only the first try to gauge how much titrate I needed. Let's start the horse up. And on your marks, get set to get. I let a whole lot flush at one shot. The indicator doesn't change immediately. And we're just wondering, I put so much, why is it still purple? And all of a sudden, it just changes to the very light green. I went, oh, that's not good. The very first thought in my mind was to actually stabilize myself on the chair because you can't gauge with you know, your whole body moving. And stop! Victoria, you have overshot. Over. Go! Interesting tactic right there, just kind of dripping your way through it. Done. Right. Yes! So the second time I did it, I'm gonna cut it down by like two marks or three marks. Good match. Over. I still overshot. When it came to the second try, my strategy was basically to drip it as slow as possible. Don't take the risk. The third time, I started to become a little bit more cautious. Come on. Come on, change the it. The clock is still ticking. Who's there? Done. Well done, Jason. When I got it right, I thought to myself like, Jason, you took a bit too long, uh, so don't put your hopes too high. Alright, that's about it. Yes! I've been doing consistently well for the whole competition, but this game, I basically left thinking that I was screwed. Well, first of all, I have to say, I wouldn't trust you to do a chemistry experiment for me that would save my life. That's all I want to add. And we do have the results. Coming in first place, Natasha. The next one, Victoria, well done. Kim, well done. Well, who do we have at the bottom two, first of all, Ethan? And also Mr. Colorblind. Jason, I'm afraid you came in last. I actually didn't expect to be limited today, but when it came to after the challenge, I felt that I was too afraid to, you know, screw it up again. So I did really, really far too slow. And oh well. Well, we'll call it a day. Call this mess! 